Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing to play through the game, continue with the post-game quest lines. Last episode, we defeated Tain and seemingly completed that quest line. We captured a Zygarde, we captured a Reshiram, and a Zekrom. A couple notes on those Pokemon. I looked it up, and you cannot get Zygarde complete in the game, sadly, so you can only battle them, you can't actually get them. And also, there, there is Zekrom armor in this game, which makes Zekrom, like, really bulky. So I might actually get some Zekrom armor later on down the road. You don't get it um, in this region, though. You have to go to the Holland region, which is actually where we are going to be going today. So we'll be doing that in a minute. But before we do any of the new region quest lines, we're going to do the Missing Note quest line right now. I don't think it's going to take very long, but let's do it. A couple of quick notes, by the way. Um, I have a Hydreigon, but it's shiny. And you might be thinking, oh my god, a shiny Hydreigon, that's nuts. Um, it's actually from a quest line uh, that I found that you could get a, a shiny Hydreigon. So I did that quest line, and I just got lucky and got a modest one. And uh, it's it's pretty strong. Yeah, so we're going to be... I might be using a, um, a shiny, modest Hydreigon a little bit. It might be fun, so... It's, uh, it's pretty cool Pokemon. I like Hydreigon anyway, so I'm, I'm totally down to use them. Anyway, let's talk to the human calculator, man. Let's get this missing no quest started. I'm the human calculator. I'm the smartest person alive. Would you like me to perform a calculation for you? Yes. What shall I do? Division. Which number should be first? Let's do... Uh, what number should we do, guys? Three. It doesn't matter. Second number is zero. Oh, crap. I just got like a runtime error. I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, hold on. I might have I might have just broke the game. Um let me reload it. That was weird. Okay, I loaded the game back up. Let's see what happened. Ah, your result is 2. That's not right. If you divide 3 by 0, it's infinity. Okay, thank you. All right, well, that's weird. All right, so now the next task for this that was actually all supposed to happen. Uh the next task is to go to the um Pika taxi guy. And we are going to uh, soar, I believe. Okay, soar. Okay. Good, good, good. And let me zoom out a little bit. So there should be like a super glitched space in the middle of the ocean. I don't know exactly where that might be. I don't know if it's going to be like north or south of the... Oh, here it is. Okay, this is it. This is it right here. So there's like this glitch space and it says Gaia Town. Um, hold on, let me uh, zoom back down here. Okay, so where do I land in this? Okay, there we go, we got it. No data. Okay, all right, here we go. We're on the right track here now. And there's missing no. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's fight this thing. Um, we're going to save. I'm going to catch it, but I'm going to throw Glade in my top spot. The reason why I have Glade with me, guys, um, is he's my Pokemon catching guy. So he has a uh, Fall Swipe and uh, Thunder Wave. So pretty much I can get something to paralyze and 1 HP. So I don't know what typing Missing No is. Hopefully it's not a ground type. I'm pretty sure it's... um. There was like this glitch typing back in the day. It was called Bird Typing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. All right, we'll save up. Let's catch it. Here we go. Freaking missing no man. Look at this thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, uh, we'll thunder wave it. All right, this thing is paralyzed. Fantastic. It's glowing. Oh, it's sky attack. Let's hit it with a false swipe. Oh my god, this thing is really frail. Wait, what? What the hell? What is this thing's ability? <laughs> Does it just kill me? Like it's like you can just die on command. All right, let's let's bring in Hydra again. And let's go for uh, let's go for an ultra ball. All right, come on! I want to catch this thing. Oh, it's glowing, dude! This thing has actually got a, a crazy ability. Then there we go, we got it. All right, I'm gonna try to reroll for a good nature. I don't know what its stats are though, so I'm gonna have to look. Uh, did we get it? There we go. <laughs> it's a little slow. The glitch Pokemon, a glitch Pokemon. Used by some to duplicate items. However, over time, it has lost this ability. Wow. No, I don't need to name it. Okay, it's suiting me back to... Alright, yeah, so it's a legitimate glitch. Like, it's it's built into the game on purpose to do that runtime error. I didn't realize it was going to do that. It's pretty crazy. 
All right, uh, we got a careful nature on it, which I don't know if it's good. Yeah, physical attacks literally kill the Pokemon that attacked it. That's actually insane. It's got literally terrible defense. Oh my god, it's so bad. Its attack is actually pretty good, though. All right, um, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to re-roll this a couple times and try to get a good nature on this thing, because it's just hilarious that this is in the game, so I, I actually like kind of want to train it. So let me, let me uh, reset here and see if it'll put me back. All right, cool. So I can battle this thing as many times as I want until I get a good nature on it. So let me uh, let me do it one more time on video. And <laughs> it knows water gun. I'll do it one more time on video and uh, you know, we'll see what I get. It's actually insane that like a physical attack against this thing literally will kill the Pokemon. It, the pr only problem is it's pretty much dead as well because of the fact that it's got um, no defense so this thing pretty much can't take any physical hits it's like chancy in that regard but this thing seems like it has pretty good physical attack so that's cool um i'll probably end up giving it like a focus sash if i use it so it can actually you know take a physical hit holy that did a lot of damage yeah i mean it's just amazing that they added this to the game like that is so cool like, Missing No is such a weird glitch back in, like, the original games. And if you've never heard of Missing No, it's literally, like, this almost game-breaking glitch from Generation 1's games that they never patched. And, well, they couldn't really patch it because it was on a cartridge. So, <laughs> it was crazy. It was really fun to mess with. Relaxed nature, boosted defense, lowered speed. Alright, that's not really what I want either. Alright, I'm going to re-roll this a couple more times off-camera until I get something I want, and then we'll continue towards the new region. All right, guys, we got ourselves a brave missing now. So I looked this thing's stats up, and its stats are actually awful, like so bad. It's got base 210 stats. Um, its attack is actually base 136, which is ridiculous, but every other stat is garbage, terrible. So um, I'll probably, like, not use it, but, I mean, it's, it could be fun to just mess around with, because I could use its ability glitch to, um, you know, I can use, like, a focus sash on it, it gets hit by a physical move, and then, you know, <laughs> somebody can't really, they'll just die, you know, they'll just, they'll just die, yeah, I think that's pretty sweet, um, it only knows sky attack and water guns, so I'm actually gonna see right now if this thing gets any other moves like if i could teach it like protect because if i could if it doesn't learn protect then it probably doesn't learn anything because every pokemon can learn protect so let's find out let's see oh it can learn protect okay sweet so we'll teach it protect can it learn like anything let's, let's just try like a random move like ice beam it's can't it can't learn ice beam all right can it learn toxic that would be sweet it cannot learn toxic all right well maybe the only move it can learn is is protect because I don't know it's it's just a really weird Pokemon so I'm imagining it probably can't learn anything let's see if it can learn fly that'd be funny if it could learn fly it can't learn fly yeah so I, it probably doesn't learn anything besides protect so that's fine we, we caught ourselves a missing no I'm gonna put it in the top spot just to see what it looks like walking around behind me it's, it's so cool that they add this to the game it's amazing this game just continues to amaze me every single time I play it yeah look, look at this thing <laughs> it <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's hilarious. All right, anyway, let's put this thing away. Fantastic. We caught ourselves a missing no. Oh my god, that that brings back like some serious childhood memories because I remember when I caught missing no in my Pokemon Red version, it corrupted my game, and it made me really sad. I was not happy about it. Uh, where should we put the missing no? Let's just put it in this box. This is where I'm keeping like my Pokemon that I want to train in the future. All right, anyway, let's um let's get the main team out here. So we will, let's put away Hydreigon, let's put away Tyranitar, or add Tyranitar, let's put Gallade away, and let's get Delta Metagross, actually hold on, I want to show you guys one more thing, alright, I caught a, where is this thing, yeah, I caught a, uh, a Delta Golurk, which is really cool, it's like a gladiator, look at this thing when it's, when it's walking around behind me, you guys are going to love this, this is so funny, watch this, this thing is actually massive, like, it's bigger than any other Pokemon when it's walking around behind me. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. All right, anyway, let's continue with the game. Let's fly to Suntouch City, and we're going to go to the Holland region right now, and we'll continue that quest. All right, so here we are. So what we have to do is go down here. I'll speed up a little bit. And go over to the train station, and we have to talk to this dude who lets me in because I'm the auger. 
and we go to Holland region. So gives us a little train ride, you know, cut scene here. We can skip through that. It says Dan took the long ride to the Holland region. And here we are at Settlement Foxtrot. So one thing you guys need to know about the Holland region is that it's not really the same as um, Torin in the fact that, oh my God, I can walk through the freaking thing. Bzz, bzz. Hey kid, it's me, the director. Listen, you were a hit. People love you on TV. Would you mind coming back to the broadcast tower? Not now, dude. <sighs> okay, that, that has to do with the uh, the shiny uh, Hydreigon that I got. But anyway, what I was saying is this place is, doesn't really have Pokemon centers. It has like little tents. So I can't access my secret base here, sadly. Um, but that's fine. As long as I can get my my uh, Pokemon healed and switch switch things around in my PC, it should be fine. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, that Delta Golurk real quick. All right, so let's keep going. Also, Snorlax is pink. You might have noticed that as well. Long story. <laughs> All right, so so basically, the first thing I did when I came here, the whole goal of this region is to. Um, work with the scientists to get as many Delta Pokemon as possible, right? So the first thing I did was came in here and I talked to uh, Professor Pine right here. And she gives me a mission to go north, all right? But she also lets me buy stuff. So I'm actually going to buy a shiny ball real quick, just in case. You never know. This is basically works as a master ball if you run into a shiny. So you, you never know what you'll run into. So how could you imagine that if we ran into another shiny like we did with that crustal? All right, so basically we have to go to the Holland Grasslands and just kind of continue through this route. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go, let's do it. Um, we gotta fight all these trainers. Let's get it, let's get this out of the way. But yeah, th this region is, uh, maybe I'll do like a, you can soar in this region. So maybe I'll do like a soar over to show you guys exactly what's going on here. Cause it's, uh, it's definitely not the same as um, torn in the fact that it's like kind of uninhabited like they kind of explain it as if it's like a new region that people are just discovering so it's really not super you know documented or anything like that pretty interesting stuff all right we're coming in with Haxorus let's go for an aqua tail and kill this Gliscor fantastic the team is still dominant as usual as much as I want to use other Pokemon because I have so many other awesome Pokemon on my PC we gotta, we gotta roll with the team. We gotta roll with the straight original team. As challenging it is to uh, keep this thing going. Wait, what is this thing? My girlfriend has fallen in love with this incredible Pokemon I've seen around her. I wish I could find her. Hey dude, I got you, man. All right, S Cavalier, pretty cool. All right, um, ooh. Don't you think I didn't spot you behind that tree? This stump looks very interesting. Like almost like there's an item there. Maybe behind it? Nope. Ah, oh, man. That really looked like a promising stump, huh? All right, Hyper Potion. Ooh, more more stuff. X Special 2. Is this his girlfriend right here? Oh, no. I can't tell if that's a dude or not. It might be it might be a dude. Uh, I still can't tell. All right, whatever. Let's just fight it. Chat hot. All right, let's switch. Let's go into... What do I even use to kill flying types? Tyranitar? All right. Apparently, Chatot has like a really, really good um, Mega Evolution in this game, which is funny because just the idea of Mega Chatot kind of makes me laugh. Can I kill this thing in one hit, even with that half? Yeah, yeah. Chatot's not exactly gonna live a rock slide. That's that's gonna be tough for it. Tyrantrum's coming in. Let's switch. Um, what is this thing weak to? Dragon, I guess. So we'll just go into Garchomp. I'm sure a level 103 Garchomp max attack can kill a level 88 Tyrantrum in one hit. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> All right, great, great stuff. Blissey's coming in, we can stay in. Blissey doesn't like physical attacks, like missing no. That will kill it in one hit, probably two times over, honestly, even with that HP, even with that HP stat. All right, so another trainer down, another one bites the dust. All right, how did you see me from all the way over there, lady? I was gonna fight you anyway, but whatever. Wobbuffet, um, we can just probably leap blade this thing. I don't know if it's gonna kill it or not. Oh, I'm dead. God, I hate counter. That's the most annoying move. Stupid Wobbuffet. All right, let's come in with Tyrantrum. Tyranitar, not Tyrantrum. All right, let's go for the crunch and kill it. I hate Wobbuffet, man. The thing is so obnoxious. Just that stupid counter. Ugh, the worst. All right, let's throw um, Haxorus in the top spot for a little bit. <laughs> By the way, I renamed my Rotom Detergent. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. What's this? Let's see. There's a button on the button. Uh, yeah, sure. What the hell is this? Okay. Was that a... What was that? It was a Delta. <laughs> I think it was like a Delta Trico running by. Uh, I wouldn't mind a Delta Sceptile if it's good. Alright, well... Can't really touch Politoed, so that sucks. Um, let's switch. Let's go into Rotom. We'll hit it with a... Nice little... T-bolt. We'll T-bolt him. You get him out of here. Alright, Rotom's level 105. <laughs> it's actually insanity. It's insanity. Alright, well, Seismitoad's only weakness is grass, unfortunately. So, it really sucks that Pudding is dead. But we're gonna have to go into Haxorus here. We'll just hit it with, uh, Aqua Tail. That'll do half damage. Oh my god, that nearly killed it. Damn, dude, don't Drain Punch me. That's not nice. Gen 5 had so many, so many cool Pokemon. Alright, let's go back into uh, Rotom for this Gold Duck. This guy's got all the water types. Hit this thing with a uh, Thunderbolt. You get him out of here. Fantastic. Alright, Rotom's probably gonna get a level up. Yep. Level 106 Rotom. Jesus. Alright. Um, let's see. Let's walk around this area and see if I fought everybody. I think I already fought you. Yeah, I already fought that lady before the video. Um, I fought that guy. Yep, 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 yep. I f that dude didn't want to fight. He's mad because his girlfriend dumped him. What about you, man? You want to fight me? Okay. What? The uh, the Pokemon in the wild will fight me. On Pheasant. Okay. On Pheasant. I know I'm rich. Oh, I already fought you? Okay. You must have gotten owned then. Where do I have to go now? Okay, scientist. Here we go. Fantastic. Let's fight you. All right. Bronzong. I could just hit this thing with an Aqua Tail. It'll do neutral. Oh my god, the damage. Fantastic. Haxer is just doing great. Just doing great work. Okay. It just hits like a tank, dude. Just ridiculous. Look at this Manaphy statue. Look at this thing. Oh, look. It's a uh, hidden Grotto. Oh, what the hell is this? It's a freaking Mawile? Is that a Delta Mawile? Hell yeah, let's, let's battle it. Level 44 Delta Mawile, all right, all right. I don't know what I'm gonna use to, to kill this thing. Or to, you know, let's go into Rotom. Thunder wave it. You know, here's the thing, like regular Mawile is got like probably one of the best typings in the game in Steel Fairy. So I feel like Delta Mawile, like you most most of the time the Delta Pokemon are like, if not, or better, or like equal if not better than the regular Pokemon. I feel like Delta Mawile, no matter what it's typing is, looks like a grass type. Probably not nearly as good as regular Mawile, so I'm probably not going to try to nature fish with this thing. I'm just going to catch it and just move on. I don't really care what nature it has. And I can always breed it too, because I have Delta Ditto now, so I can actually breed. Alright, well, yeah, that's great. Fantastic. Caught the Mawile. That's so dark in here, man. I can't see. Oh, make sure I didn't... Oh, there we go. Delta Mawile. Alright, well, at least I have the Mega Evolution for it. That's kind of cool. If I get an Adamant one, I might use it. We'll see. Okay, cool. Um, so that, um, that Trico is still lurking about, um, where it is on the area, I, I don't know, I'll probably worry about that later, wait, maybe it's over here, ooh, Combi, there's a Combi, in like this grass fields, alright, yeah, wh whatever, let's, let's move on to the next area, I'm not, I'll catch the Delta Pokemon on my own time, let's, let's continue the story, here we go, Settlement Oscar, alright, here's this guy, good to see you again, Dan. I've been examining the area, and it seems that there are a couple directions we can go from here. There's a lake up north, but you need to be able to climb waterfalls to get up there. There's a marsh to the east and a desert to the south. Hmm. Why don't you take the desert, I'll take the marsh. Afterwards, we can regroup and double check to make sure we haven't missed anything. The desert's just south of here. Good luck. Well, okay, so let's go to the, the Holland Desert. So, before we do that, though, we're gonna talk to everybody in this area. As a matter of fact... Oh, I know there's going to be an item over here. Oh, wow. That's like the classic item spot. Um, anything else on the other side of this water? Or is that pond just there? Let's see. Eh, it's just there. Okay, let's talk to everybody here. Uh, let's go in the first house here. What do you want, dude? I'll give you a rare item, but you got to show me your style. I love crazy hairstyles. What? Dude, my hairstyle is crazy. 
Yes, thank you for your full- See, this guy- this guy knows what's up. He doesn't care about hair. He's got, like, balding head, and he gives me items. The other guy's just a jerk. What do you want? Settlement Alpha and Juliet are up to the north. There are only four settlements. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Fantastic. Alright, let's go in here. Ooh, Parasect. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. Whatever. Cool bunch of biomes. We're playing Minecraft right now. Alright. Okay, cool. Fantastic lady. What do you want? Okay. Uh, Holland Pyramid. Okay. Hey, this is a pretty awkward question. Could you help me with something? Yeah, sure. I really appreciate it. I lost a few things. A whole bunch of embarrassing stuff. Last time I remember it is near a big red rock. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it later, man. Whatever, dude. Let's see. Word for the wise. The marsh is a dead end. If you want to find Pokemon, go north. Okay. Oh, so this is the marsh. Okay, cool. I'll, we'll check that out later since the, uh, the professor told me to go south. Alright, uh, I already talked to this guy. Did I, did I go in this house? Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. I think I talked to everybody here. I'm pretty sure. I might have missed one house, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, let's just zoom around a little bit more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody. Th this is the grasslands? Yeah, we, we came from that way. That's where we came from. Let's go inside the tent here. Let's talk to the people in here. And... We'll chill up with Chansey. Chansey. Heal me up. Fantastic. Hey, Dan, it's great to see you. Are you interested in buying some stuff? Yeah, I'm interested. What do you got? Oh, same stuff as the other lady. All right. And you? Are you interested in trading? Oh, I caught a Delta. It's a Numal. Poisony, not sure. Can you trade me a Poison Dark or Poison Ghost type? Yeah, I will, but not now. <laughs> I'll do it eventually. All right. Delta Numal, though. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the mall while. Watch it be adamant. Brave. Actually, really good. Oh, and 20, 28 uh, IVs and attack. It's actually really good nature. All right. It's a grass dark type, which is actually terrible. It's got like 12 weaknesses. All right, we'll put that in the Delta's 2 box. And we'll be on our way. All right, cool. Let's go south. Let's go to the, uh, the Holland Pyramid. Or the Holland Desert, right? The Holland Pyramid's in the middle of the Holland Desert. All right, here we are. Let's put, uh, alright, we'll keep, we'll keep Hashers in the top spot for the desert. Okay, let's fight some more individuals. It's so cool that there's two regions in this game. It really is. Alright, uh, Swalot. Swalot? I, whatever, we'll just hit it with an Aqua Tail. I'm pretty sure it'll just die. Or either get close to dying. Alright, let's hit it with the Iron Head to finish it off. There we go. Doug Trio. Alright, this thing definitely doesn't want to take an Aqua Tail. How is it faster? Oh my god, the damage. Goodness. That stab earthquake. Holy smokes. Sharpedo. Let's switch. Let's go into, um... Let's go into Metagross. Metagross can take this thing on. I'm not even gonna bother Mega Evolving. Let's just go straight for the x Scissor. Take them out. Fantastic. Alright, there we go. Rough skin. Whatever. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, what else is going on in this area? Let's let's do a little perimeter walk just to see what what the deal is here. You want to fight me? Okay, cool. Well, I'll also fight all the people while we're at it. Electivire. Um, let's just aqua tail it. I think that'll just kill it. Yeah. Haxorus is just ridiculous. Like neutral damage attacks are just taking things out. I'm probably gonna get to Haxorus to level 100 right now while I'm at it. Delta Ball, sweet. Um. We got another guy here. Let's fight him. Lots of trainers. Unknown. This thing probably is not going to appreciate an iron head. Yep. And got the tail. We can just stay in. We can just iron head this thing too. It won't. It'll kill it. Oh wow! I'm actually really surprised that thing didn't die there. Whatever. It's dead now. Haxorus is getting closer and closer to with the century mark. Almost not level 99. Okay, there we go. We got a hyper potion. Again, we'll walk the perimeter here. One thing I like about the desert in this game is that you only run into wild Pokemon when you walk in the deep sand. I love that. That's clutch. Oh, there's the pyramid. Okay. We definitely need to go in there. That's really important. As a matter of fact, I think we might get waterfall soon because I read that waterfall is inside the pyramid. So that's sweet. All right, let's climb this and get that item. 
What do we got here? Dig. All right. I like dig. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what we got in the wild here. Lopany. What is this bunny rabbit doing in the desert? I, I don't know. Who knows? Ultra ball. Sweet. Okay, let's fight some more trainers. Let's keep on. We'll do the we'll do the full swirl. Okay, Rotom. Uh, Rotom. We could probably just aqua tail this thing, honestly. Just just get it out of here. Heliolisk. Uh, let's switch against this thing though. We'll go into what's what is Heliolisk not like to get hit by? Earthquake. Earthquake. Let's go into Metagross. Stab Earthquake. Nothing better. Nothing better. Dude, I noticed that the sixth generation Pokemon load in a little bit slower than the others. It's kind of interesting. It might be because they had to they had to build their own sprites for those things, I think. Because they don't they don't match like the uh, Pokemon Essentials RPG Maker settings. Interesting stuff. I wonder if they'll ever add seventh gen Pokemon to this game. I, I would love to see it, honestly. Um, Age of Slash. Let's just hit it with an Aqua Tail. Take it out in two hits. Or just die. God, Aegis Slash is so broken, dude. That thing is just annoying. It's just, it's Ubers in competitive Pokemon. It's been Ubers since it got introduced. It's so ridiculous how good it is. All right. Anyway, well, Haxorus is down for the count. Let's, uh, let's give Tyranitar some love in the top spot for now, since he's, he's, he's a little bit lacking behind the rest of the team in terms of level right now. Okay. I think we've almost done the full loop around here. Or at least if we are, we're getting close. Uh, did, I, did I battle you? Yeah, you're the first person I battled. All right, I think we did the full loop around. So really what's left to do here is uh, go into the pyramid. Uh, one thing though that I'm noticing, hold on, let me just fight. Oh, I thought that was shiny for a second. Tyranitar, or uh, Hippowdon, the, the female version's darker color. Look at this. What, what is this thing? Let's save. I think this is a Tangrowth. Or a uh, Tangela. Delta Tangela. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I don't know what... Okay, this thing's actually just going to die if I try to hit it. In fact, this thing is probably a ground type, so I don't even think I can paralyze it. Let's just throw a ball at it and see if we get lucky. Okay, we didn't get lucky. Alright, I want to catch this thing, so let's just go into pudding and put it to sleep. That'll be the strategy. My pink pudding. Pudding's pink because of this uh, item. It can change its appearance. I keep saying long story for that, but I'll actually give you guys it. Wait, why did it? <laughs> he just boosted my attack. What the hell kind of move is that? Some straight trash move right there. <laughs> it's like, let me boost the attack of the opponent. Great idea. This thing's probably just ground type, I'd imagine. Ground dark, maybe. Ground... I would love to see like a ground poison type. That would be sweet. All right, there we go. We got it. Oh, wait, actually, now that I think about it, I think that Delta Hydreigon is ground poison. I might train that thing then. The Tumbleweed Pokemon, I love it. It's such a great, such a great idea for that Delta. The Tumbleweed Pokemon. Okay, we caught it. It went to the PC. Um, again, I don't really care about its nature. I'm probably not going to train it, so it's all good. All right, Claydol. Claydol is really boring. Let's just pass that thing up. Wait, I never fought you? Ugh. Oh, sort of sworn I did. Left key. Does Klefki have Levitate? Let's find out. No, it doesn't. All right, you're dead. What does Klefki have if it doesn't have Levitate? It's clearly floating. I don't get it. Ferrothorn. This thing is, uh... This thing is weak to, to ground as well. I just hit it with it. Actually, no, it's not. That's right, it's a grass type. I was thinking... Damn, Ferrothorn is defensive as hell, man. That thing is actually really good. Clang, clang. I don't believe this thing has Levitate either. Yeah, it's dead. They should have given that thing Levitate. I think I said this before. They should have given that thing Levitate. It would have been so much better. All right, let's go into the pyramid here. Okay, we got to fight another wild Pokemon. Oh my god, it's an actual real Tangrowth. <laughs> that thing's hilarious looking. All right, into the pyramid we go. Aha, I knew I'd find you somewhere. It's good to see you again, Dan. I'm glad you're doing well. It's crazy to think that you're the auger now. I remember when we both had our first battle back in Midtown, and now we're out here helping out the Holland University research team. You know what? There's no way to be no better way to celebrate how far we've come than doing what we did when we first met. So bring it on, Dan. I can't wait to see how far you come. Oh, I'm not healed up. Oh, no. All right, this is going to test the composure of my team. I am not healed up. Can I defeat 
this person without healing. All right, let's go for the crunch. Just kill it in one hit. Oh, God. I'm dead. Yeah, that's four times damage. Oh, guess who lived the hit? Let's go. All right, now she's stuck in the full restore cycle. Dead. That was a huge, huge uh, live by Tyrantar there. Huge. Darmanitan's coming in. Let's go into uh, Detergent against the Darmanitan, a.k.a. Rotom Wash. And uh, we can actually set up our live wire against this thing. We're down a man, but we still got this. All right, live wire, superpower, that's not going to do anything. Okay, so now we can just Hydro Pump this thing and get it out of the way. Get him out of here. All right, we're in good shape now. We got our live wire set up. We're all good. Flygon's coming in. I'm going to go into uh, Chomp against this thing. I think I can just outspeed and kill it, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Let's go for uh let's go for the dragon claw. Uh can I outspeed it? Yes I can. Alright, it's dead. There's no way it's living that hit. Alright, fantastic. That thing is the big threat on the team. And Garchomp's level 104. Holy smokes. Florges is coming in. Oh man. We don't have our, our fairy slayer. Haxorus. We'll just go into Metagross, I guess. Just hit it really hard with like an earthquake. I'll mega evolve and just mash it. Oh, actually no, we have uh, we have gunk shot. That's right. Forgot about that. That's our that's our poison check for Metagross. And he, of course he misses. Okay, gunk shot is actually kind of terrible. <laughs> You're dead. All right, Florges is down. Celebi's coming in. Well, let's stay in. We can hit this thing with an X scissor. That's gonna be four times damage. Yep, you're dead. Oh my God, that doesn't even matter. I could have two Pokemon and win these battles. Giraffe rig, let's stay in. Oh, this is the uh, Delta Giraffe rig, so actually we can still kill it with Earthquake. That's four times damage. Get him out of here. All right, Nora got destroyed, my God. All right, anyway, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised how good you are considering, you know, the whole Giratina thing a while back. You're amazing, Dan. I wish you, I was as great as you. Anyways, I should get going. I'm heading up north. The only, I only went to this pyramid to get the waterfall item anyways. Good luck. All right. Well, that's good. We got to get this waterfall then. Let's find it. Let's find a waterfall. Where is it? Where is it? No, I don't want to run to the wild. Okay, let's get rid of the, oh God. Can't run from it. Too slow. Oh God, why is it so fast? Okay. Let's, uh... Let's put somebody else in the top spot for now. Chomp. Chomp's a little faster than than uh, Tyranitar is. Is this place really a maze like this? All right, I'm about to throw on a repel. Oh, Gengar, that's sweet. All right, let's throw on a repel. Let's uh, see if we can find this thing. Oh, I got it. Magic carpet. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, let me look at it. It's a key item. Yep, there it is. Okay, I got Waterfall. Sweet. All right, cool. Well, that's where I'm going to end the episode then, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We've uh, started the Holland quest. I got Waterfall, so another great TM that's going to allow me to unlock a bunch of new items, so I'm excited for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We caught Missing, though, which was pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.